Hello guys from Anyangok. I'm now waiting for the subway to go to Sokchon Hosu. The Sokchon Lake is the big lake in front of the Lotte World Tower where now a lot of cherry blossoms are blooming. So we can take a lot of great pictures. I have a heavy backpack with me. I have a lot of gear. The weather is quite nice. I have pollution at a minimum. So I expect to have good results today. But the sad thing is from tomorrow until the 11th of April, the lake will be closed. I cannot understand why the government opens restaurants and coffee shops where the people also drink alcohol a close quarter to each other, spit and all that. Uh, but at the same time, closing parks. In, in my eyes, it makes no sense. Or at the morning and evening, you have subway trains which are closed, packed with people. So, all or nothing, I guess. And it's so sad because on the 11th of April, the cherry blossoms will be gone. So today is really the last day that we can make any content there and to watch the beauty of this nature there. So let's go. We'll see each other in the subway. So let's go. We'll see each other later. I hope there are some places it done. That's it. It's full of people. Tell it later. So guys, we have now arrived at Sokchan. Big, big load tower is in front of us. So this means that the Sokchon Lake is also not very far away. Just a quick overview of the district of Sokchon that we are now in. So let's go. Oh, what I need now is a bottle of Coke Zero somewhere but it's very practical in Korea in nearly every street every hundred 200 meters they have a convenience store which sells the stuff you need for a good journey so let's find one and drink the coke great the key is 25 let's go in and grab the coke So, pesky door. So, we have now our coke. Now, let's begin the journey. We will see each other. We will see each other at the Sokchon Lake. I really need the cola. I can barely speak with dry mouth. So. There it is, the Lotte Tower, the fifth highest building in the world with 555 meters and apartments, which cost monthly $150,000. I cannot imagine how much money someone must earn to afford the rent there. It's so crazy. Also some luxury hotels, a huge luxury shopping mall. There's everything in front of the door. And we're now we left. The Sokchon Lake with so many cherry blossoms. Uh, 
I hope that uh, we can cross the street soon. It's so warm today, we have 20 degrees and I think I need to take off my jacket as soon as I arrive there. Okay, we can finally cross the street and here you see what I meant when I said they will close it from the 1st of April to the 11th because of uh, social distancing, it's such a bullshit. So, hey, they are already prepared the ceilings here. Oh, let's go. So many opportunities for pictures and stories. I will go now to the other side of the lake because then we have the loaded tower and also the cherry blossoms in one picture. So many cherry blossom trees. The amusement park, which I also never visited. I need to do it this year. And today are so many people here. I understand a little bit why they want to close this place. If you look at this place there, this um, viewing platform, there are so many people. It's very tightly packed. And uh, the people do not give any damn about Corona. But so do I today. It's okay that we need to protect each other, of course. But we also need to learn to live with Corona. I mean, you cannot just hide in holes for the whole time. It makes no sense. We arrived now at the Sokchon Lake and the location is beautiful. So many young people coming here to take selfies. So many cherry blossoms who finally do bloom. And when I see at the scenery, I'm so sad that I was not able to visit this place last year in spring. Last year at the same time, we're preparing the marriage preparations and so we were very stressed out. So we had sadly no time to come here, but today we want to enjoy the location and to take um, as many good pictures as possible. So many young people who do the same. And it's so sad that they want to close this place from tomorrow on. Such a mess. Such a mess. But a little bit I can understand it. I was... I had no knowledge that so many people would come here. Of course it's a beautiful place, but during the week so many people now at the platform and from here we will have a great view on the Lotte Tower, Lotte World, the amusing park Lotte built there. It's incredible how much money this company has to build all that. So many photographers, I will join them. So. See. Ui, ui, ui. Also, even if these buildings look no special here, they're so expensive to rent or to buy. But imagine waking up in the morning, you go to your veranda and have this view. Impressive.
I think I don't need any words to describe this. So, I'm now on location. Beautiful view on the Lotte World Tower. The amusement park in front of it. I just need to watch for the children because they, he's so cute. They run here, so the floor is wobbling and that's not good for the picture. Also, so many fishes who come here to catch some food. What are these koi's? The sun is slowly going down and more and more people arrive. I hope they all make beautiful spring memories here at Sokchon before it ends tomorrow. Here my camera is also ready and I'm waiting now that the roller coaster arrives there like right now. Maybe I did catch it. I hope these young girls there are also good with their timing. Now let's log around the river. Back to our bus station. I found our perfect location. We can shoot the cherry blossom trees together with the Lotte Tower. So let's see how do we play out in the end when I'm editing the picture. This woman here has the same idea in mind. I'm now waiting that this Viking boat will turn on and then I will shoot it. <laughs> Everything is prepared. I wonder how long we must wait. Maybe 10 minutes? There are still a lot of people who ride with it. So don't worry. Despite the beautiful view, today happened something very bad. I wanted to shoot a picture, load the tower between these S's, and then my camera fell on the floor. Now she seems out of order, which is very, very, very bad. And I wonder how expensive the Nikon customer AS service will be. I guess not very cheap. So our next adventure will be my trip to Yongsan tomorrow to the Nikon service center and to see how they can help me if they can. Because the camera itself seemed to work but you cannot detach the lens and you cannot focus. Uh, oh man, what a day. <laughs> but at least the camera took last good pictures before she fell down. So, oh, I don't know. I think this is the worst nightmare for every photographer when your camera fell on the floor and you cannot do anything against it and it's damaged and I depend on this camera so I guess that's life did you have an experience like that? I will now I don't know drink a coffee calm down and I cannot realize it that this really happened it's like oh shit that's too much right now but on the other hand, it is really in today's world so inconvenient to have a big DSLR camera. They are so heavy. Uh, also, if you go to hike with them, they break your leg and they break your back. And they're also so sensible to damage, like I saw today. Maybe that's a sign to finally change to mirrorless, maybe. I don't know. But this camera was my great companion and 
it hurts to let her go if I need to do that and if the guy from the Nikon AS Center can help me I will be so thankful for it I wish I had something more happier to talk about right now but it concerns me a lot and it made my day I guess Enjoy the last moment. <laughs> the girls taking selfies again. This is really a very special place in Seoul, and it's so so sad that it will be the last time this year that we will see it with these cherry blossoms. Thanks, Government of Seoul, for nothing in this case. And yes, I will now go back to Anyang to, to eat something, to... How can I tell that? To come over this moment. Really, I, I need some time to sit down and just to realize what happened right now. And uh, maybe I can solve it. Who knows? But I guess not. So we'll see each other at the subway station. I thank you all that you came with me to Lotte Tower and it's Sokchan Lake. I hope you enjoyed the adventure and we will see each other soon again. Tonchan Yok lies in front of us, or maybe I go with the bus. But it's the first time that I'm going alone and the first time that I came alone here. So it will be funny to figure out with my Korean skills that I have right now, or that I managed to acquire during one and a half years to find my way home. It's also a new experience that my wife is now uh, back at her school for six months. And yes, I have plenty of time to walk around alone and to explore Korea and to finally be able to be on my own here. It has also its positive. But so sad that on the first day of this photographic independence, the camera took out. Oh man. Still, it's a shock. Oh, damn it. There is so much traffic in front of us, so I still ask myself if we will arrive in time uh, because of the display. 49 minutes later we will arrive but we met the same 10 minutes before so <sighs> we need to say my wife that I come later I guess it's a very bad idea to go home during rush hour but this way I can show you all the time the Korean rush hour and how much traffic there is it's getting dark now and we are arriving in Anya. So let's capture the last impressions of today. We are now in the city and also here many many cherry trees. So many people going home now. Don't let me down. Oh, do you remember this place? Went yes, 
yesterday here. But I took the videos of the Akko Tower. So now we are near our home. In five minutes we will arrive. I guess what I was saying was completely wrong because there is still so much traffic so it will take a while that the bus driver can get through. So, I wish you all a nice evening and we will see you tomorrow.